I'm Andy Biggs from Arizona. This is my friend Brian Fitzpatrick from Pennsylvania. We're just reporting on what happened on the Right to Try bill. Last night we had a vote that required two-thirds majority of those present on the floor. We fell seven votes short. It's the Right to Try bill is so important for those who have been diagnosed with terminally ill or terminal illness. We want to make sure that they have a right to have every opportunity to fight for themselves and for their own lives. So uh, Brian and I are not going to give up. Thanks, Andy. Thanks for your partnership. And um, as Andy said, uh, you know, ever since this Congress started, this has been our, pro our top priority, he and I both. Uh, we had a proposal that we put forth. Um, the Senate then came out with a version that they passed. And ever since that point in time, um, Andy and I had a letter we circulated. I think we had about 30 or something yeah. signatures that we presented to the Speaker. That was our top choice, was to have that bill that already passed the Senate get a full floor vote in the House. The Energy and Commerce Committee the Help Committee on the Senate, these ENC committees on the House, Help is on the Senate, had two different ideas of what they want a right to try to be. Uh, it's still our goal and our focus to get the Senate bill on the floor for a vote. That's our top priority. Uh, the bill that came up yesterday, uh, Andy and I are certainly supportive of as well, as is Ron Johnson. I had a great talk with him this morning on a strategy moving forward, but as Andy said, we are not stopping until we get this done. Uh, if this were easy, it would have been done before in prior Congresses. This is a challenge as are major pieces of legislation always. But we're going to get this done because the terminally ill patients in this country are our inspiration. And we're not going to stop. And like Andy said, I'm very, very confident still that we're going to get this across the finish line. Yeah, nothing that's worth doing happens easily. This has not been easy. It's been a long time. But 38 states have uh, approved a similar law. There's one more, Wisconsin, that's going to go the same way pretty quick. That's enough to actually pass the constitutional amendment. In other words, this country wants this law. And so I'm confident with Brian, Brian's great help, Ron Johnson from the Senate, we're going to get this done. So The three of us are all in sync right now. You know, we're all looking for the same thing. Our top priority is the Senate bill, getting to a vote. Um, plan B would be if the Energy and Commerce Committee uh, insists on going this route, getting that bill passed, getting that to the Senate. But ultimately, we have to get something signed into law. That's the bottom line. Yeah. We'll keep you posted.